trip. The two of us, Ricky and Laura, are planning to head out on the water taxi to Klein Bon Air. <laughs> That's right. Well, the rains have come back. We're hoping that they are going to lighten up. You can buy your water taxi tickets actually back at the tent closer to the ship uh, where we showed before, or they say you can buy them directly down here at the bar. So since we got dropped off from the tour at the bar, I think we're gonna go ahead and wander down toward the direction of, I'm gonna go ahead and pronounce it Carl's Bar. Hello. Ooh, and we'll investigate purchasing them down there. Found a little walk through here. You get wings, pizza. I see a yogurt bar up here. Yogurt. Free Wi Fi and free phone calls with any purchase. Funny. Well, these are some hefty hunks of pizza that they are serving us. Big. It was a $4 slice for pepperoni, so we each grabbed a slice. I'll be full for a while. Slice, slice, slice. <laughs> Gotta fuel up before Yum. we go over there looking for them fish and stuff. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, let's, eat, let's okay. eat some pizza from Rumba Cafe. All right, we have found a little booth here for Caribe Water Sports. Water taxi to Clan Bonaire, that sounds like us. Made it onto the water shuttle. All right, we are all loaded up and ready to roll out to Klein Bonaire. That was super easy to find. We're still right here in view of the ships, so super convenient. I know. Are you excited? You yes. might see some. I don't know what you're gonna see. Hopefully, some cool Hopefully. stuff. Hopefully, some other people want to snorkel with me. That's true. But they they do rent snorkel gear here, right on this craft. They've got beverages for sale right on this craft. So everything you can need for your day in Klein Bonaire. Super easy. Love it. Now we're going to have a nice relaxing ride. It's a 20, 25 minute ride out there. I think they make a stop at Eden Beach. They make a stop at No Name Beach, I believe. We'll just see where all the stops are. But I know I think there were multiple options. For snorkeling beach. Yeah. Well, usually you get on, you get off at No Name, I think, for that. Okay. Time, time to ride. now here over at Eden Beach ride it looks like they're learning to dive beautiful water so this is this is just another portion on the island of Bonaire so you can take the water taxi over to this beach and back we're going to continue on obviously to Klein or Little Bonaire uh, just off the coast we could get some snorkeling footage right here gosh that's awesome Good to know. Well, they're struggling right there. Well, good to know. Another place to visit on Bonaire could be Look at that Eden Beach. Just come hop on a Cariba Water Sports shuttle and they'll get you right over here. prohibited zones in the water which run all the way around the island on the left side on this side that starts with a very shallow reef now that reef we can see that here as the 
brown stripe between the light blue water and the dark blue water. The inside of it, the light blue water is off limits. That means people are not allowed the light blue, only on the outside in the dark blue water. Now we have one entry point in that prohibited zone, and that is this yellow pole on the shoreline right there. So right in front, we'll make it easy. There is a natural opening. Now, when you drive, when you dive through that opening, please aim well. Okay. From the opening, you can go to the outside, and then it is 15 to 20 minutes of drifting back to the beach itself. There are two white buoys in front of the beach right there, and that is where we're going to drop you as well. This is a landing zone for water taxis, and that means that right there, you can be in the water, but please be vigilant. Keep an eye out for the boat. Here, welcome to Klein Bonaire, no name beach. It is quite windy over here, quite beautiful over here. I know Dee is all ready to get in water mode and check out some of this amazing looking water. It is quite windy, so we'll have to see how the GoPro audio comes out today. But Dee is going to head down the beach and do what they call a drift snorkel. You can actually get in at a designated point, get on the other side of the reef, and the currents will carry you down this way for about a 20 to 25 minute drift snorkel. So that's kind of awesome. Ricky, Laura, and I are going to be down here in the float zone because, well, that's kind of how we roll. So look at this water. I guess you have no choice to look at the water because that's kind of really all I'm showing right now. So, you know, just 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 look at the water. This is my Klein Bonarian spin. Is that how that works? Oh, I just got splashed. Somebody splashed me during my Klein Bonarian spin. That's not very serene. We'll just have to go around again to make up for it. Look who we found in Bonaire. Who's in Bonaire? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Who knew? Even though you were on the water taxi with us. Oh my gosh. We are. We follow you to Bonaire. <laughs> yeah. I just showed up. So we can see all the way up. You can kind of see that little monument up there that we climbed earlier today to get our view of the island back there behind the pirate ship. Kind of cool. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear me at all, but I am walking down to the yellow pole because that is where you have to enter the water to do the reef snorkeling. And it's about... I don't know, three football fields away is what they said, but I don't think it's actually that far. So we'll see how this goes. So as you guys can see, as you get a little bit closer to where you can enter the water, there's a lot of coral. <laughs> so just be really careful, probably wear some type of water shoe uh, to get yourself here because there's turtle nests up higher on the beach. So you can't really walk up there right now, which is a good thing for the turtles. All right, you guys, I've spotted the pole which means it's almost time to go snorkeling, which is very exciting. Would not recommend this if you have mobility issues whatsoever. There is the pole. So it is a good little walk down here. We're slowly making our way down the beach, getting a little closer to the exit point where Dee should be coming back out from the reef snorkel here in about uh, she's probably got about 20 minutes on her yeah. snorkel still. I see a whole bunch of snorkel people. Do you? They're looking, look like. something. They're looking at all kinds of cool stuff. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa! The wave tossed it at me. Keep it gone. she is I see now blue snorkel popping up pink soles on the shoes so I will just hang out right about here because I think this is the dark zone you're not allowed to actually swim 
supposedly up in this area, you have to stay in the blue water till it breaks, and then right here, you can come up to the beach. So I should be at the entrance ramp to the beach, basically, where she will have to come in a few minutes. So we'll just do a little spin right here. A little spin right here, wait for her to come back. Oh, I just stubbed my toe on a rock right here in the middle of my spin. So we've been out here for what, about a half hour. Yeah. We're taking bets on whether she's gonna have had the most boring snorkel of her life or if she's gonna come up talking 90 words a minute. Drift my butt, you have to swim. Oh, well, so, dr Woo! so drift is not the correct word. I mean, it pushes you, but not necessarily the direction you wanna go. So what's it look like out there? It's dark. Dark? <laughs> when I first entered, you can see all sorts of pretty coral and fish, but then as you, it's super dark. And then there was cloudy. So. Well, there were there were cloudy moments, yeah. Not, oh, I'm upside down. Fantastic, That's I hope fine. that wasn't like that whole time. I'll do that, I'll fix that in editing. Um, yeah, I mean, you have to probably dive down pretty deep to see a lot of this stuff. So. Oh. It, was, it wasn't bad. It's it was definitely an experience. Okay. All right. Yeah, as long as you stay. I was a little scared because I'm like, I couldn't <laughs> see anything. It's pretty deep water over there. Oh. Yeah, I think as long as you stay over here. But I thought you could look to the side of you and see part of the reef and stuff. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think right you might have been a little bit too deep. Oh. I think you went yeah, I think you, I think you I went think too deep. Too well, I was afraid I was going to get in trouble. No. <laughs> All right, she is going back out there to get a little bit more fish footage, just kind of random free snorkeling now. So I guess some cool stuff back at the beginning, but then I think she was out a little bit too deep. So I don't know, we'll have to see what she got when we review the footage. She handed her water shoes off to me now. So she's just uh, free, free footing it out there. So we're still kind of trying to decide whether we're going to call it a, a day here at the one hour mark and get back on the safe water shuttle, which gets us back over to the pier in plenty of time, or if we're going to make a two hour day out of it and get the, the water shuttle to get you over there, you know, maybe about 15, 20 minutes ahead of all of them. I think we'd be safe enough to do the late shuttle, but just to be super safe, we might take the first one that comes back. But you could come over here and make a full day out of this and climb by there, and that would be fantastic because they start running the shovels like 9, 10 in the morning. So you definitely can make a full day of it. So fishy action, just swimming the drop off, huh? You guys are swimming with some big old fish. Big right. old fish. Any yellow ones? We, we just don't some, know it. We got some big fish swimming around us. Like, um, more like over there. We've seen a couple come this way. Whoa, whoa. I got better fish action over here than I did. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey. But the coral is pretty. I mean, there's still right. the boats are parked like, right on top of it. Go over there, but get off my just go boat. push the boat. Just go push it. I would swim under it, but then I'd be afraid I like hit my head on the boat. I think they think I'm a coral reef because like as soon as I came over there, they were like everyone like, oh no. See, I, don't have any food. I told you. A little cloudier as the day goes on. I mean, it's been raining on us off and on. Actually, it hasn't rained since we not really since we got over here to Klein. I thought we were going to get a fish update, but she sure is still looking. You go get him, Miss Mermaid.
So there's a puffer fish by my foot. There was. And you didn't tell me. I just did. I said, oh, there's a puffer fish. There was a puffer fish by my foot. Was it really? I don't know. Just a little one. She come up and she said, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, what in the world? You gotta warn me about these things. No, they don't hurt. Not like the big old ones you see, but just a little, the ones I always, are those not pepper fish? I think they might be porcupine fish. Porcupine. But, I don't know. Oh, got water all over your face all the time. Oh, uh, that's not much better, is it? Well, close enough. I can't help but get splashed it out here. You can just barely see coming this way, a yellow catamaran. Which means they're coming to get us. All right, we've decided to go ahead and catch the earlier shuttle back. So <laughs> we've had a good time here at Klein Bonaire. Like I said earlier, you could definitely make a whole day out of this. This would just be your excursion. Yeah, well, next time we'll do it. <laughs> but we wanted to see. Don't step on. We don't want to step on the road in the sand. Yeah. But we definitely wanted to see a good chunk of the island today because we've never been here. Anyway, we're hopping back on the Caribbean Water Sports Water Taxi. Time to go. Returned safely to Carl's Beach Bar, and we had no doubt. <laughs> how was your How was your day? Look, you know we're doing all the field reporting now. We're not even waiting till we get back to the cabin. It was amazing. I am moving here again and again and again. Wait. I may only have to move here one time. Yeah, I think know? once you move here, you pretty much live here. Everything in Bad Bonaire is beautiful. People are so friendly. They're clean, safe. I don't know. I keep saying the same thing. Clean, Klein, all that stuff. Yeah, Klein Bonaire. Oh, we're gonna just spend the whole day there next. I know. Morning. Gotta have more time there. But that was great. The little bit of time that we chose to spend there. And definitely get a snorkel mask or bring your own because the True. fish are beautiful. And you don't even have to go do the drift snorkel. Just like oh, right yeah. on the edge, you can see all kinds. Easy snorkeling. So good. So come see the folks at Caribbean Water Sports. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta do it. Water taxi. Super safe. Super awesome. Super friendly. <laughs> and they have good drink specials on there. You get you some beers? Yeah, two for five. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do some wandering now. But yeah, yes. thanks again to Carib. Amazing guys. day. So Amazing. we're gonna wander. I think we're gonna go check out like a coffee shop. I don't know what we're doing. Rubbing alcohol for water in the ear. Yeah, you gotta get water out of your Bring ear. Bring that with you. A couple of more things here in Bonaire before we get back on the ship. So yes. we're definitely making a full day of it. We're excited. <laughs> Let go! Bye. up a little shopping here in Bonaire. Hit a couple of shops. We didn't go to the coffee shop. I guess we're gonna go ahead and head back onto the ship. See what we're gonna do with the rest of our day. Fun. I've got a flamingo statue made out of like recycled uh, stuff. That's cool. Yeah, that's so weird. They just have these random steps down into the water. I mean, I guess you can I guess you can just kind of chill out here next to the ships if you feel like it. Interesting. You would. It's kind of like Grand Turk. You just swim right next to some ships. Here are the remainder of all of the tents from the folks that we checked in with this morning. We had the Caribbean Water Sports people right here, the Bon Air Vista Tours people right here. Farewell, Bon Air. Amazing first visit. We will see you again. Sounds like a threat, but you know, it's not. Even Rihanna says she's from Barbados. But she knows we'll be back here. Oh, high five! <laughs> Hello again. We are all cleaned up and back on the ship. I feel like we need to talk about our day, but we talked about our day while we were out and about in the world. True. Dag on. So anyway, we're getting ready to go to some Christmas festivities that's happening here in about four minutes in the lobby. Yeah, hurry. So we're gonna run down there. What is like ugly sweater stuff, singing songs. Santa might come. <gasps> Gosh. All right, let's head out. Let's go see some festive stuff. Bye. Bye. That's not very festive. Well, wearing sweaters is festive. That's not an ugly sweater, but anyway.
Now, this is one of my favorite parts of the cruise because it allows you all to dress up, get involved and have some fun. Uh, and so tonight we're going to see, we're going to crown our champion, the ugly Christmas sweater competition for this year. show lounge for studio VIP. Whoa, there goes the music. So we're gonna watch a show. Too much copywriting, so. That's all I'm doing. Tonight we have a phenomenal show. Do we have any fans of the 70s in the house? Oh, that is what I'm talking about. She's all clean hands. Come up to get some ice cream. Don't shush us. So we've come back to the cabin to find a fresh bag of undies. Bing! A nice bottle of bathroom disinfectant cleaner 2.0, which that's always handy. Sweet. <laughs> and one of the cutest towel animals ever. Always. It's a did you, are you making noise over there, ma'am? What'd you say? Oh my gosh. It's a turtle. Super cute. That's like the second time ever I think we've had a turtle. I love it. So we are back in the cabin for the evening. Somebody's finishing up their ice cream. I had froyo, but I actually ate it before we got back to the cabin. I didn't like my dessert at dinner. Oh, your pear tart. It was not It great. was not the right yeah, thing. Yeah, it wasn't the same as like on the bride. 
But we're back in the cabin. We just finished Studio VIP. Good show. They were having some microphone issues tonight, I gotta say. Like, some people needed to be louder, some people needed to be quieter. But it's the brand new cast. It was the yeah, second no, cast but tonight, they're good. right? It's a good cast. Yeah, I think they're still kind of getting used to everybody's volumes and how they need to mix the show. So, we always enjoy it. Almost the show, there, but yeah, it was yeah. a good show. But now we're back in the cabin. So, I guess we're just going to turn in. Got a sea day tomorrow. Full of, you know, fun Which on the sea weird. day. And then you go more ports. Yep, then we got two more ports and then okay. another sea day. So, yeah, I guess that's it for tonight. So, we'll sign off. We'll see you tomorrow on the I sea cold. day. <laughs> you got cold because you ate ice cream. That's how that works. I'll talk about it. Anyway, I'm going to go take my bathroom disinfectant cleaner and my turtle and have a party. You should call Fabian. Or not Fabian. That's a bartender. I think. I'm not calling Alfredo. Fabian. Alfredo is our room steward. And tell him you left disinfectant in the room. He'll find it. Maybe I'll let him know. Um, oh, another cool thing. I didn't even show it, but uh, we came in and with our fun times, we got an invitation, um, I guess, for the Diamond members on this cruise. They're doing a galley tour tomorrow. <laughs> so, oh, the ship's moving a little bit. We are moving um, So at 1.45 tomorrow, we get to go on a galley tour. So that's cool. Galley tasting earlier in the week, and now we have a Diamond galley tour. Yay, carnival. That's exciting. <laughs> all right. That's all I know. You ready for bed? Now you're going to join the video. It. Now that the battery light's flashing okay. and we're just having a good time. All right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bonaire is amazing. Stay I think tuned. it's my number one now. Look now, you can't be telling, you can't be breaking Curacao's heart. Oh, I mean, they're very, very close, but I don't know. Mm. Bonaire's not quite as built up as Curacao. Right. And I just, I fell in love with oh, it. Oh gosh. We already just started looking for another cruise here. <laughs> yeah, it was going to help me. Uh -uh. Come here though, if All you right. get the opportunity. Not to here because we've already left Bonaire, but go to Bonaire. Oh, it's amazing. All right. But go to a beach. Okay, bye. Let's we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Stop it. <laughs> that was focused fast. Get back. <laughs> bye, the battery's gonna die. Okay, bye. <laughs>